to ask uh, about being a dual player, but also about you were a, a dual player as well previously, you played other sports. You're, you're just playing camogie at the moment. Yeah, yeah, I'm just playing camogie, yeah. To what extent is that down to the injuries that you've gone through? Yeah, look, I suppose when I was um, 16, I was playing hockey, football, soccer and camogie all together. I, that's why I went into PE teaching. I'm just sport, a sport fanatic, really. And um, I got told I needed to go for an operation on my knee. I was limping on my knee and I got keyhole on my knee and I was told I needed to break my knees and realign them um, at 16 by like a doctor as well. Um, so my father was quite upset as well so he kind of took me out of the hospital he's like no we'll play on for a couple of years and patch it up kind of a thing go to a few physios and stuff like that like but uh, very Irish yeah very Irish like a pure Irish daddy like you know then um it wasn't really, it wasn't sufficing really, like, you know. Then I went to play the match against Mead in the intermediate in one of the Division 2 league and I got a really bad bang there. Uh, a girl kind of stuck out her leg as I was running past her and I just got a concussion that game. I didn't walk for like, or I didn't jog for like 15 months after that, like. So so when was this? This was a couple of years after the initial, yeah, so the you initial, been, what, like, 18, 19 years old? Um, at the time then I was about maybe 20. Right, okay. And uh, it was a couple of years after and uh it was just all down to it. So then I went and got my, I got done in Santry in Dublin and got my knee, my knee came out of place, had to be realigned and stuff again. And uh, the doctor told me I shouldn't be playing anymore. And he said like, you know, there's just too much wear and tear, there's no cartilage behind my kneecap. Um, so it was really, really tough to take at the time because everything in my life was sports. And um, it was really, really hard because like when you're playing all sports and even know herself, like, you know, she played loads of soccer as well. Like, you know, when you have to pick between one and never, maybe never even get into play one, even the game. Mm-hmm. Like Amy played a couple of different sports, but like not even be able to play any sport was really, really hard to take. So I went down to Cork and I went to Physio Declan and Sullivan and he was just brilliant. And he just kind of said, look, we'll just take it as we see it. And like, we'll try to get your back run. But like, we're trying to main thing is rehabilitation. Like, you know, so now I suppose I'm lucky with, the way the management have now at the moment they can just I have arthritis in my knee like you know so it could be really really bad some days some days I might be after sleeping all night some days I might be good and I'm able to do training but he, they'd be very good like they'd be allowed me to go to the gym or go on the bike instead of doing tra- pitch sessions and stuff Yeah. so it's all about mine so like I don't know if I have one year or if I have three years like you know uh, hopefully I'll have a bit more than three years but like yeah. I don't know I just keep playing until I can't play anymore I suppose and what was the end game if it didn't work out as in so in Santry they said that you shouldn't be playing what happens what, what was the worst case scenario if you did keep playing in their view their view is that I'm going to be in a wheelchair by the time I'm 30 that's what they said like by the time you're 30 or 31 you won't be able to run anymore like you know it'll be just continuous wear and tear and like thankfully there's new methods coming out and I did an interview last year and someone wrote to me on uh, Facebook and they said to me that they read my interview and they had a similar problem with their knee and they recommended a, a clinic in Dublin that actually insert cartilage into your knee to kind of protect your kneecap so I'm going to be looking into that now maybe ne- next year at the off season as well like you know so uh, there's always different methods that are coming out. I suppose, like, I don't know what my knee is going to be like or what, how good of a PE teacher I'll be in a couple of years' time. I suppose you might call it naive or stupidity or something, but, like, I just love the game so much that I keep going and there will be a day that I'll say I can't go anymore, but for now, I'm just trying to mind myself and try to play as best I can.